So did you? Did you kill her? I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to this. Yeah, you are. You're not going anywhere. How could you even think that I was capable of something like that? Andy, this is me. What, what are you doing? Andy, of course I didn't kill her. I mean, I have no idea why she rang Aaron, but it had nothing to do with me. Police. Whoa, Anna, wait a second. We can work this out. Come on, just tell me again. What exactly, what exactly did Aaron say? Andy. Hello, yes. Andy, come on. I want to report. What? Just wait a second. OK? Just wait. Right, start talking and don't you dare lie to me. Please, Mum, just, just leave her. No! No, you are telling me the truth now. Chaz. No, I am sick of the looks between you two and the whispers. What? What is it? Look, look, believe me, I've hated lying to you. Well, then don't! Please, love, please, you, whatever it is, you know you can tell me. Why won't you say? Because you're going to hate me. Aaron. Robert killed Katie. And I helped him cover it up. You have to promise me you can listen to everything I say, OK? Just, just hear me out, that's all I ask. OK? Andy? Tell me you don't know. Tell me. Andy. Look at me. Look at me. Tell the truth, Robert. Did you kill her? I want you to trust me, Andy. Did you kill her? I want you to trust me. So I'm going to tell you the truth. Everything. OK? Did you kill Kate? I love you, you know that. Did you kill her? I wasn't there. So I, I only know what he, what, what he told me. But he, he insists that he didn't know that she was going to fall. I promise you, Andy, on my life, on Dad's grave, it was an accident. I promise you. <laughs> She'd worked out that me and Aaron were meeting at Wiley's. <laughs> She came there to catch us at it. <laughs> but it was just me there. I said some horrible things, I'll admit that. <laughs> she was going to tell Chrissy. She, she tried to leave and I, I stopped her because I, I wanted to keep talking. <sighs> and I know I shouldn't have, but I was angry. I pushed her. <sighs> I didn't think I did it very hard, but I must have, because I, I, I caught her off balance and she fell back and the floor just collapsed beneath her. I mean, it just collapsed. <sighs> there was nothing I could do. I promise you, Andy, it was, it was an accident. You have to believe me, Andy. Chazzy had him at gunpoint. I was going to kill him, just to keep him quiet. Oh, my God. Show her. I interrupted her. He shot me. No. No, because you said that was barbed wire. I'm sorry. We were just trying to protect you. He's already threatened Rona and Leo. Leo? Mum, I'm telling you. He's a psycho. 
And do you know what the worst of it is? I fell in love with him. And that's why, that's why I lied to you. To, to your face, about your best friend. Just for him. He killed her. Because of me, Mum. Because of me. Because he didn't want anyone to know about us. Katie died. <laughs> See, I told you you'd hate me. I don't hate you. Oh, yeah. Do you understand me? I could never hear you. I hate him. He's evil. <laughs> Let me ask, see how I'm saying, mate. Coursework. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Who is it today? Australia versus Fiji. <laughs> I bought it because she likes cats, but I'm thinking she's going to hate it. I mean, it's not very cool and youthful, is it? I hate to tell you this, but if she liked either of those things, she would not be going out with you. Oh, ignore it. And the card's lovely. Well, I'm delighted that you remembered it. It must mean that your new medication is working. But uh, fingers crossed, I do feel a lot better. Yep. Good. Good. Then I needn't hold back. That card is terrible. Yeah, I, I, I was worried it might be. I'll, 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 I'll see if I can find something else at home. Chris. Oh, hello. I was just about to call you, actually. <sighs> Me too. I've, I've given it a lot of thought, and I'm sorry, I don't think I'll be able to represent you. I pleaded on your advice. Uh, what, what about the trial? Uh, I know. I won't be leaving you in the lurch. I have a colleague who'll be able to step in immediately. Why? What's changed? Nothing. I just worry it's a conflict of interest, you know, with Val being Amber's granny. Right. I'm sorry I didn't say. No, it's OK, I understand. You know, families can be difficult. I don't want to cause any strain. Well, I'll get my office to call immediately. OK. Hey, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm just really stressed. Yeah, of course. Look, why don't you sit down for a bit? Let me buy you a coffee. I'm so, so sorry for not telling you sooner. I told you when all your first stuff came out, but you were so upset, and... I convinced myself I was doing the right thing. I'm a coward. I admit that. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> I, just, I keep thinking back, thinking of ways that it might not have happened. Stupid things like... What if we'd argued on the ground floor? I mean, that's all it would have taken. She'd still be here. It was a horrible, terrible accident. Just like with you and Mum in the barn. Stop. Just stop talking. Hello? Mom? Anyone there? What do you say to me? Say it again. Go on. Say it again. Say it to my face. You're full of it, Robert. 
I've got your attention now, haven't I? Haven't I? That's what this is all about. About what happened with Mum? No. All I meant was that these things happen. Tragic accidents. Does that mean we're even now, does it? I didn't say that. Me and you were the same. No, I was just trying to convince you that there was nothing I could have done. <sighs> That's it, isn't it? It's what I did to Mum. That's why you hate me so much. <laughs> Listen to me. We sorted that. This has nothing to do with us. Well, you keep saying that, but I reckon it does. No. Then why else would this keep happening, then? Why else would you keep taking her away from me? Andy, listen to me. I would never... Is it because of Dad? Because you still reckon that he loved me more than you? No. Or did you kill her because you couldn't take that she was with me? Because I was finally happy? No. Because I was. Do you know that? I haven't been a lot of my life. I know. Yeah, you do. And you also know that the quality wasn't the first time I'd thought about ending it. If it wasn't for the help I got, I'd have done it a long time ago. Andy, you have to believe me. It was an accident. Just stop saying that! I don't believe you. Andy, I know how much you hated her. And what you do to protect yourself. No, I, I, I wouldn't do that. They've taught me a lot about how to deal with being angry. The counselling I've had. I'll just stop myself from lashing out. But I'm telling you now, I don't think I can. You need to get out, Robert. Now. I'm fed up of running away from this. If you want to beat me up, go ahead. Maybe it's what I deserve. One way or another, we're sorting this. So, you card and present, wrapped. I've got for a box set with that Benedict Cumber, what's it, Sherlock she likes. Thought we could watch it tonight. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Is all you're planning for a birthday? A box set? A bottle of wine? Nice dinner? Lovely. Oh, deathly, deathly dull. Do you think? Well, it doesn't exactly scream romance, does it? Come on, Ashley, why don't you treat it to a party or something? Make it feel special. Why aren't you having a party? Yeah. I wasn't sure she'd want one. Everyone wants a party. Who doesn't want a party? You clearly do. Yeah, you could make it private eye themed, eh? Then you could dress up as Benedict Cumber thingy. Oh, that's more like it. Really? <laughs> OK, why not? Yes, thanks, Bob. So, all right, TV detectives, who have we got? I'm sorry for being a mess. I probably shouldn't come in here at all. Well, they all know it was an accident. Oh, believe me, I know how pathetic it sounds. I'm not even paying you to listen. If it makes you feel better. Anyway, uh, thank you for the coffee, and um, I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. You're probably not the only person I should say that to. Dan knows all about the TV detectives. Does he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, look, the man himself. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're looking for this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nice we're one. doing a detective-themed party for Harriet. All right, nice one. Yeah, I was just telling this lot you're a bit of an expert, aren't you, on TV detectives? Mm. We need sartorial expertise. Come on, guy. Uh, costumes. All right, OK. Uh, Columbo, uh, Ironside Ooh. and Jessica Fletcher. Oh. Boom! Oh. Uh, yes! Well, last time I dressed up, I was a sherry bottle. Murder, she wrote, is definitely a step up. What about me? I, I was thinking of going to the recent Sherlock. Cumber Wumba's Yeah. Uh, that's a bit of a difficult costume to pull off, that. It's basically just a big coat. You want to go for the classic here, you know, Rathbone, Brett, oh, Rowe? There's nothing sexy about a deer stalker. Really? I think I could look rather dashing. <laughs> hey, got it. Bob, I need your iron shirt and your tightest blue jeans. Uh oh, that is that is good, that is good. I'm on that. Yeah, right. Cover me, Dan. Oh, <laughs> right. Two words. Well, uh, one word and, and two letters actually. Magnum PI, sex god and snappy dresser. I'll sort your tash out. Yeah. Great. Thanks. See, you can moan all you want, 
You were powerless against me turning you over to the dark side. Oh, so closing early is dark for you, is it? Going anywhere with you is dark if people keep lopping helicopters at you. Too soon. Why are you here, anyway? I don't know, it just felt natural. You and me were nothing to do. You with an empty house. Well, it's not empty now, is it? So, go on, do one. Oh, come on. I thought you said that we could be mates again. And you said that I could come round for tea. What are you doing tonight? Hmm, well, Lisa's got the boys and Diane's taking Sarah to Andy's, so absolutely nothing. And it sounds amazing. It sounds boring. Beers and takeaway here, then? You reckon? Yeah. No funny business, just a chat. I could do with talking a few things, too, anyway. You know, deep emotional stuff. The thing is, it's just really hard being this good looking. I don't know how I'm gonna go. Oh, you're such a div. <sighs> Wine, not beer. And I'll choose the pizza. Deal. See you later. to do was tell you. Watching you grieving like that. You saw what it did to him? I did. And I wish you'd told me. Cos then I might have been able to understand what you were going through. Running yourself to death because of what he did to her. Him, Aaron, not you. We're going to the police. What? We can't. Because in their eyes, he'll be culpable, won't he? No, Aaron was dragged into this. He was nowhere near when it happened. Yeah, but I helped cover it up, didn't I? He's not the only one. I've known for weeks. Yeah, well, there's a big difference between staying quiet because you're scared and committing murder. Chaz, the police will have Aaron's number on the phone records. There's more evidence linking him to the day she died than there is Robert. So we do nothing? Believe me. I want to see Robert put away for this, just as much as you do. But we can't. Because if he goes down, then so does Aaron. And he'll have succeeded in ruining your life. I've made some horrible mistakes. I should have never cheated on Chrissy. Is that what you said to Katie? That Aaron was a mistake? Of course, but... All that mattered to me was Chrissy not finding her. And you remember what Katie was like. She was determined to hurt me. So now you're blaming her? No. <sighs> she wouldn't let it go, so you killed her? No. All that mattered to you was Chrissy not finding out, so you killed her? I, I promise you, it was an accident. And was Aaron in on it too? I don't know. Did he lure her away so you could do it without anyone seeing? No. Aaron had nothing to do with it. I don't know why she called him. But he knows, doesn't he? That's why he's been acting weird. Was he there when you killed her? When she fell, no. Why? Why keep it a secret, though, if you didn't kill her? Because I knew nobody believed me. Yeah, you're right. No one would believe you. Because you're a liar. You always have been, ever since we were kids, and you're lying now. It was an accident. <laughs> Robert, who are you trying to convince? Me or you? You see, I know the truth. It's obvious. You wouldn't believe it was an accident. But it wasn't. You were so terrified that your little bunk up with Aaron, with a bloke, would come out that you killed her. You killed my Katie. You pushed her. You did that. And you, you have to believe me, I promise you. You're right, I've lied. I've, I've lied before. God knows, I feel sometimes that's all I do, but this one time, I promise you, it was an accident. I want you. If you just say it was an accident one more time. It was an accident. Andy! Why?! <laughs> Tell him I'll bring some soup round later. Vic's made too much again. OK, bye. Please! No. 
that a bit too easy. Oh my god! So sorry, are you okay? I didn't see you. So the kid has to see my keys like I wear them on some big rusty hoop on my belt, you know. I have to tell him, sitting in the front desk of the Nick isn't really like it is in the cowboy films. Can I help you, sir? I want to report a murder. My brother killed my wife. And we return to Emmerdale in an hour. <laughs>